Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. In this lecture, I would like to discuss about the pelvic outlet. So this is pelvic outlet or it is also called as obstetric outlet. So this is or this is called as pelvic outlet or obstetric outlet. So let us learn about it in detail now. So this is also called as obstetric outlet or so what is this obstetric outlet so this is a segment of the pelvis which is bound above by the plane of the least pelvic dimensions and bound below by the anatomical outlet so this is called as pelvic outlet so this is bound above by plane of least dimensions and it is bound below by anatomical outlet and this segment which is there this segment is called as pelvic outlet it won't be this big but I have drawn so that we will understand it. Okay. Now, uh, its anterior wall is deficient at the pubic arch. So, let us see the dia. So, so let us see the, um, what do we say? Boundaries of the pelvic outlet. Just a minute, I will draw a diagram. So, now for the, di for the boundaries of the pelvic outlet. So, the main boundaries of this pelvic outlet include okay so the boundaries of this pelvic outlet include anteriorly if you see the anterior wall is pubic arch so anterior wall is deficient at pubic arch And then lateral walls, if you see, the lateral walls, these are formed by ischial bone. And then the posterior walls are formed by these are the posterior walls, they are formed by sacrum and coccyx. Okay, so this is the sacrum. Okay, now. So this this is these are the boundaries of the uh, pelvic outlet. Now, what is the shape of this pelvic outlet? If you see the shape of this pelvic outlet, it is anterior posteriorly oval. Okay, shape is anterior posteriorly oval next uh, the plane plane of this pelvic outlet is also called as plane of the least pelvic dimensions just a minute i'll have to draw a diagram for this okay now uh, now let us learn about the plane of the pelvic outlet so the plane of the pelvic outlet is also called as it is also called as plane of least pelvic dimensions it is also called as play plane of least pelvic dimensions okay so what does this plane of least pelvic dimensions include what does this suggest so this suggests that that uh, the, the, this is the line which is joining the lower border of pubic symphysis okay to the tip of the ischial spines and posteriorly to meet the tip of the fifth sacral vertebrae so it extends from the lower border of pubic symphysis to the tip of the ischial spines so think that here there are ischial spines so it will reach the tip of the ischial spines and then it will also reach the fifth sacral vertebrae but not the coccyx okay so this is called as 
plane of least pelvic dimensions. Okay, it is anyway straight, but I didn't I could not draw it straight. Just I'm I can draw it. Okay, from here to the yeah, it is something like this. Okay, this is plane of least pelvic dimensions. So what are its boundaries? Just let me tell you. That is lower border of pubic symphysis to fifth sacral vertebrae tip of fifth sacral vertebrae in the middle it will have to meet the ischial spine okay so this is about the plane of least pelvic dimensions now let us learn about the diameters of pelvic inlet so diameters of pelvic inlet are mainly two one is transverse diameter the other is anterior posterior diameter now where does the transverse diameter start and end so this transverse diameter is the diameter between the two ischial spines so if you see this is the ischial spines okay so this is the two di diameters between the two ischial spines so this is transverse diameter okay this is transverse diameter okay what is the how much is this transverse diameter transverse diameter is 11 centimeters so if you see transverse diameter it is the distance between two ischial spines okay this is transverse diameter now what about the anterior posterior diameter anterior posterior diameter it extends from the uh, pubic symphysis that is lower border of the pubic symphysis to the tip of the coccyx or sacrum okay to the lower inferior border of pubic symphysis to the tip of the sacrum okay i'll use blue pen blue yeah lowest border to the tip of the coccyx okay and sacrum so this is anterior posterior diameter this is around 11.5 centimeters so this is the obstetric uh, outlet anterior posterior diameter there is also one more diameter which is called as posterior sagittal diameter which is okay i didn't write about the anterior posterior diameter right anterior posterior diameter it is present uh, it is present between the inferior border of pubic symphysis to the coccyx this is anterior posterior diameter now we have one more diameter which is called has posterior sagittal diameter this extends from the tip of the sacrum to the midpoint of bispinous diameter that is transverse diameter see that this is the transverse diameter or this is ischial spine right bispinous diameter transverse or bispinous diameter okay so this will start from the coccyx or tip of the sacrum to the midpoint of bispinous diameter so this part is called has posterior sagittal diameter okay so what does this posterior sagittal diameter what is the length of it it is 5 centimeters and it is between the sacrum sacral tip tip to the midpoint of bispinous diameter okay so these are the diameters of the 
pelvic outlet now what about the axis of the pelvic outlet if you see the axis of the pelvic outlet i'll write here the axis of the pelvic outlet so that is a line which is perpendicular it is axis is represented by a line joining the center of the plane with the pubic symphy pubic sorry with the sacral promontory so this is sacral promontory the line which is joining the the so axis is the line which is joining the this is the plane right so the axis is the line joining the center of the plane with the sacral promontory so if you see it is something like this okay i'll draw it again okay this is not correct orientation so it is something yeah like this okay with the center of the plane okay so this is the axis okay axis i did not draw this diagram properly but if you see this should be perpendicular vertical okay axis is nothing but a line joining uh sacral promontory with the center of the plane okay so this is about the plane and diameter so this ends the obstetric outlet now we have to learn about the anatomical outlet so thank you guys for watching my lecture Thank you.